world of Tova Jansen's Moomin is brought to life in Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley. Available now for pre-order on the Switch and to buy on March 7th. The game starts off with Snufkin leaving the valley while all the Moomin sleep for the winter. The winter time passes and Snufkin returns to visit his friends in the spring, except his friend Moomin Troll is nowhere to be found. Instead, we see the valley starting to be littered with signs prohibiting all the things that Moomin love, as well as new development of new parks, manicured with fountains, hedges, and police officers. The person behind all of this is the nefarious park keeper, who also happens to be a Moomin. By causing mischief and destruction in the parks, Snufkin can drive out the police officers, allowing for areas to return to their former natural glory. As the story progresses, Snufkin runs into various obstacles that prevent him from finally reuniting with his friend Moomin Troll. Snufkin acquires new instruments along the way that allow for new areas to be accessed. In addition, there are many characters that need your help to either progress in the story or give you fun opportunities to explore the valley. The main focus of this game is music. I mean, Melody is in the game's name after all. The soundtrack ranges from light and airy to more playful sounds depending on your environment. And it was made in collaboration with the Icelandic band Seeger Rose. The visuals are one of my favorite aspects of the game, and the art style really is a tribute to Tova Jansen's original work. Not as a reimagining, but instead very close to a true depiction using watercolors that Moomin fans love. The intro of the game isn't terribly long and sets the user up for success. You learn basic controls of jumping and climbing with B, interacting with objects using the Y button, switching between instruments with X, and allowing you to control and round up animals with ZR. I didn't find the controls to be out of the ordinary for normal games, so maneuvering through the menu settings, changing instruments, and playing songs all felt very natural. The game's audio settings really let you drill down into the volume of ambiance, voices, UI, and your instruments. There's also available accessibility settings for those with low vision or dyslexia. Throughout the game, Snufkin collects inspiration to level up his experience meter by helping characters, exploring the vegetation, and interacting with the environment. Interactions with some objects and wildlife are locked until you meet their experience level, which really makes exploring the environment and interacting with characters all the more rewarding. A lot of the enjoyment of this game is found through problem solving and puzzles. Whether you're navigating through dark caves, dense jungles, or sneaking past police officers to cause havoc, this game provides a perfect challenge for all ages. The difficulty altogether makes this game fun for virtually anyone. You're given enough challenges to make the game enjoyable, but it's not difficult to complete once the strategy is found. Overall, I would rate Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley an 8 out of 10. The game was charming from start to finish, however, it did suffer from a decent amount of frame drops on the Switch during my playthrough. This could be resolved in future patches, however, even during some of the cutscenes, it just really hindered the overall immersive experience. My full playthrough of completing the game 100% was a little under 5 hours, which while it was such a short journey, there was so much charm in the game that anyone could enjoy the cozy atmosphere being new or old Moomin fans.